Welcome to a new and updated black metal tier list. I've done one of these a couple of years ago. It's quite old and outdated now, so some things have moved up, some things have moved down. And there's a couple of new bands here, which wasn't on the previous one. So we're going to have some fun and do a little tier list for you guys. Let me know where you would place them down below, and we'll have some fun. But without further ado, let's get stuck in with the first one, which is 1349. So, 1349. Where would I place them on this tier list? I would put them probably like mid tier, uh, 1349. I do enjoy them, but it's not one I go back to. So probably no, I'll, I'll drop it down to C. Probably C for the moment. Now straight away, moving on to Druid, if I've even said that right. One of my favorite bands. Love them. This more atmospheric side of black metal. Um, Roman's a genius. I I love this band so much. Every every album. You know, every every album, Microcosmos, and Forgotten Legends, Blood and Our Wells is probably my favourite black metal album of all time. S plus. Now you notice that we don't have any F because none of these are bad. And the ones I'm gonna put in D and C and B, they're not bad either. It's just ranking them against themselves. So for the context of the list, I added an extra tier, I added S plus because I'm not gonna add an F because I don't hate any of these bands. Next up, you can't really see it, but this is a bath. Um, oh, Abbott. Now, where would I put them? They're fun. He's a great singer. He used to be an immortal. He has that froggy croak. And he's fun. It's only two albums. There's a third one coming out soon. I I'm going to put him on the same level as 1349 so far. Just because I know Immortal's probably going to show up. I just prefer Immortal at the moment. There's a stronger discography. Abbas is still fun. I still love both these bands. But look at all these bands here. I can't put everything into B, A, and S. So Abbas is going to go there and see. Now this just says TH. But I know it's Bathory. Because I know that logo. And Bathory's S. Come on. It's Bathory. It, it's Bathory. Bloodfire Death. One of the best albums ever. The Return of Darkness and Evil. Fantastic debut, Under the Sun of the Black Mark, Nordland series, yeah, it's um, S tier, it's it's S tier. Next up, Behemoth, which is more of a death metal band, it's like black and deaf, but I do like them more. I do listen to them more than Math and 1349, and I've seen them live more, I'm going to put it a bit higher. Um, the Satanist is one of the greatest metal albums in general, I love that album so much, and so is like Grom. And Seventive, amazing early albums by Behemoth. They have a lot of good ones. I I'm gonna play play them in B. B for Behemoth. Also, I'm gonna put Beherit there. B for Beherit. Beherit took a while to get into more experimental side of black metal. Drawing down the moon is a classic, but it was really weird and hard to get into. But now I love it, and I think the band is fantastic. So it's gonna go on the same level as Behemoth, to be honest. Now, Blut aus Nord, this more French, experimental, avant-garde side of black metal, is going straight to S tier. I love Blut aus Nord. Like, from from the more um, experimental, industrial side of their albums to the more just raw, atmospheric stuff, like the Memoria Vetusta albums, oh my god, and Ultima Fuli, oh, I love it. The Blut aus Nord has really shot up in my rankings. Early on, they might have been like C, like I like them, but they're not amazing, but now they're amazing. Burzum. Now, do I put Burzum in S plus or S? Hmm. They're, they were the band that broke me into the mold, the band that got me into black metal. Pioneers of atmospheric black metal, I love them, but they kind of dropped off, mainly because like, the synthy stuff I'm not as big a fan of. I say synthy, you know what I mean, the more atmospheric kind of stuff. Dungeon Synthy stuff. I'm going to put them on the same level as Bathory and Blood Nord at the moment. Just because it's not quite my favourite. Druk is my favourite. So it's just going to go a bit below. S tier is still, you know, it's S tier. It's amazing. Now Carpathian Forest. Great band. Awesome band. Um, I don't think I'll put them in A. But it's either B or C. I don't listen to them as much as some of the others. Um, I'm tempted to put them... Oh, this is hard. I'm going to put them C for Carpathian Forest. Great band still, just like Abath in 1349, but I don't listen to them as much. Now, Celtic Frost. <laughs> Sorry to do this. I love Celtic Frost. They are great. But it's not the style of black metal I'd go back to, this kind of first wave. Are they even black metal? They influence them, but we'll see. 
you know, I really love Morbid Tales. I think it's a fantastic album. Um, it, they have great albums. Come on. Cold Lake aside, they have great albums. Even Vanity Slash Nemesis is great. But it's not a band I'll listen to over any of these. Come on. Like, th- this is the black metal I like. This is good metal, but it's not. It doesn't quite fit, basically, is what I'm saying. Next up, the. <laughs> Now, I've seen this logo before, I've 100% heard this band before, but for the life of me, I can't fucking remember who it is. So please tell me down below, because I feel like an idiot with this one, because I've seen that logo loads, and I'm pretty sure I know who they are, but I can't be certain. So please tell me who this band is, so I can kick myself. The logo is properly unique as well compared to all these, but I, I, for the life of me, I can't remember at the moment. Next up, Dark Throne. Of course, I know Dark Throne. That's going to go into A tier, the first one in A tier. Dark Throne, amazing band, classic band. Maybe should be S, maybe should be higher. But the problem with Dark Throne is there has a period of like the crust punk stuff in the middle, about four or five albums that I'm not a big fan of. And the newer ones are good, but not anywhere close to the classic stuff or even the death metal debut. So A tier is good for that because I'd rather listen to these over Dark Throne. Death Heaven. I'm going to put them into D as well. Um, I like I like Death Heaven. Um, there's no hate against Death Heaven. I think they're a great band. That's why there's no F tier here. But if I was going to listen to a more shoegazy band, it would be Alcest. And they would be quite high. They'd be in like A tier. But they're not actually on this list for some reason. Death Heaven's good, but it's not my favourite. Now, Death's Below Mega. They are going to go to A tier. I love Death's Below Mega fantastic band just like blue house nord the the reason blue house nord slightly edges it is the more atmospheric albums they have as well as the more experimental whereas death spells mainly experimental the first two are kind of classic black metal but yeah but i mean paracletus one of the greatest albums of all time death spell is amazing i think on par with dark throne so that's where they're gonna go destroyer 666 is next the more thrashy side of black metal which i do enjoy um, I do enjoy more than these, so I'm going to put them into C tier. They're not quite as good as everything else. Um, it's just because it's the thrashy side of black metal, which I'm not as big a fan of. Aside from One Bang, which we'll get to. So yeah, C tier for Destroyer 666. Still great band. Um, Dimmy Borgir. Um, where am I going to put them? I think the same tier. Yes, C tier for Dimmy Borgir. Love them, don't quite like them as much as Cradle. Um, but I still really enjoy all the albums. Puritanical is amazing. Uh, Enthroned Darkness Triumphant, amazing. The early stuff is great. Kind of falls off, but the early stuff's still great. So I'm, I'm putting them here. People are going to get mad that these are here and these are here. Oh, no. I don't care. Dissection is next. Dissection is a fantastic melodic black metal band. Only, like, three albums, though. So it's hard to actually put them on here and compare them to anything but i'm gonna put them in b tier for dissection because i don't quite listen to them as much as all these but they're still classic they're still fantastic and some of the lights being is like one of the greatest albums ever so is the somber lane so yeah b tier for dissection emperor oh emperor oh do i put them higher okay i'm gonna put emperor into a tier i love emperor all their albums are fantastic there's, there's no bad album they only have four again but all of them are great, even Prometheus. You know, In the Night Side Eclipse is, is amazing. Amphibus of the Welcome at Dust, one of the best black metal albums of all time. It's in the A tier. Now, Enslaved. God, I love Enslaved. I love Enslaved. Where are they going to go? Are they going to go S plus or S? I'm going to put them in S tier. Just on par with Burz and Baffery and Blue House Nord. Enslaved just has no bad album. They have like 12 albums as well, and none of them are bad. Each of them are unique. They remind me of Opeth, and that's one of my favourite bands. I love Enslaved. Yeah, I love Enslaved. It, it's S tier, teetering on S+. plus. Next up, Enthroned. Fun band, like them. Don't know them as much as all the others. I haven't actually dived into them as much, but the stuff I have heard has been great. I would rather listen to it than Celtic Frost or Death Heaven. The reason it's in C is because I don't know them as much. So C tier it is for Enthroned. Now, I never know how to say this, man. Fluis Staraz, <laughs> they had an album out recently. I think it was last year. Fantastic album. But as a whole, similar to Enthroned, don't quite know them as much, but what I have heard has been fantastic. So, C tier for them. Gorgoroth is next. Gorgoroth. 
do I like Gorgoroth more than everything in C? That's the hard question. Gorgoroth, classic band, a lot of different singers, a lot of different styles. I rank them. You know what? I think I will. I think I'll put Gorgoroth into B tier alongside Behemoth, Behera, and Dissection. Yeah, they deserve it. They deserve it more than some of these, I think. Have a Krunu. Great, folky black metal band. The album, which was recently, I can't remember, Soyman Soita or something like that, with the two guys, the swords. Classic. Absolute classic. I know I haven't heard them as much, but I, I'm going to throw them into B tier. I don't care. The sound is atmospheric. It's amazing. It's B tier. Immortal is next, and that's going straight to A. Come on, it's got to be alongside Emperor and Dark Throne. Immortal. The albums are... Immortal, Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism, amazing. Um, at the heart of winter, it's just such cold, icy atmosphere, A tier. Next up, Inquisition, boom, S+. plus. Yep, that's right, Inquisition, I love Inquisition, holy sh shite balls. The, um, every album, every album is just trancey, it just gets you enveloped in the music. Um, Astral Path, oh, it's so good. So good. Like, you could pick any album invoking the Majestic Throne of Satan. Um, just any album. Just pick any Black Mass from Mass Grave. They're all just amazing. Like, S plus tier albums. They don't have a bad one, which is why I'm going to put them into S plus tier. And it feels bad leaving Burzmont, though, when they're one of the, my favorite bands, and they were my favorite for a while. Uh, whereas Druid and Inquisition have slightly overtaken them. But that's the way. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Next up, Judas Iscariot. Do you like Judas Iscariot? Um, do I like it more than everything in C? Yes, I do. Judas Iscariot is going into B. Um, the early stuff's pretty good, but I actually like later Judas Iscariot a bit more. Next up, Leviathan, which I really enjoy. I really enjoy Leviathan. And I don't know if to put it into A or S. Oh, do I like it more than Enslaved Baffery? Yeah. It's in S tier, I'm sorry. Leviathan is just otherworldly. The 10th sub-level of Suicide, amazing. Scar Sighted, so interesting, unique. Um, Tentacles of Horror, great. Yeah, S tier for this haunting band. Luna Aurora is next, and that's another fantastic band. More atmospheric. And Act, I think, is the um, title of the album. So good. I need to rank them. I was planning on doing a ranking, but it just kind of slip my mind, but I will do. Great band. Marduk is next. I think Marduk's gonna go into A tier as well. Yeah, higher than Gorgoroth and Behemoth, I know. Marduk just has this kind of pummeling um, atmosphere about them. Like, albums like Nightwing, come on, just in your face. Panzer Division, Marduk, Front Stream, all fantastic albums, and they have atmospheric stuff as well, like the early stuff. Mayhem, big mayhem. Were they gonna go B tier? Uh oh, sacrilege! Why is mayhem in B tier? Now they have good albums, but they're not as consistent as some of these other bands. They're not as consistent as Marduk, Luna, Immortal, Emperor. N nowhere near. They have some albums which are just kind of yeah, pretty good. Shorter discography. Not all the albums hit, but the albums that hit are like classic ten out of ten albums. Like Damon, the newest one is amazing. As a whole, though, it's B. I like him about as much as all these bands. Migwa is next. Migwa. I used to love Migwa. I still do, but they've fallen off a little bit just because I haven't heard them as much. Um, but I'm going to put them into B tier. Still amazing band. Uh, all the albums are fantastic. Age of Excuse was great. Didn't quite live up to the expectations of the previous album, which I've forgotten the name of. Existence, uh, existence is futile. That's the cradle of film. Something like that, you know. Exercises in futility. That's it. Amazing album. Um, yeah, pretty solid black metal. I love them. Uh, B tier. Next off, I've never actually heard that band. I know it's a classic band, but I've never actually dived into them. I can't listen to everything, you know. So they're gonna go there. Actually, let's look at the other stuff that I don't know. That just says a G and E. I've no idea who that would be. No idea. I've probably heard them. Don't know. I don't know what that is. There's just a free and an A. What what is that? Is that dark space? I don't know. I don't know. So that's gonna go there. Um, I've, that's fawns. I think. I don't. I don't know what that is. 
I've never heard of that. Uh, please tell me down below all these bands that I've no idea about. Um, but let's carry on. Ragnarok? I don't know why I'm just picking that out randomly. Again, that's like a C tier one where I've heard some of the stuff, but not really fully developed my musical taste with them. So there's going to be the same kind of line as in Throne um, and some of these bands as well. Nogera Bunga. Now that's a fantastic, more atmospheric, experimental, strange kind of band. Um, I'm not sure where to put them. I'm going to put them in C tier with all these other bands because I, I like all these bands. Um, it's just these bands are better. <laughs> Maybe Nogura will rise higher the more I listen. But again, um, it's it's a similar kind of situation to some of these bands here. I like the sound, I like the style. Om is is a 10 out of 10 album. Um, yeah, next up, Panopticon. I'm going to put Panopticon into D tier. I like some of the albums I've heard, but some of the other albums I've heard are not that good. Like Kentucky, I don't really like that album. But some of the other ones are fine. Uh, the latest album last year was good. The sound I didn't really like, though. So I've like hit and miss on Panopticon. Um, loads of people love them, think one of the best black metal bands, but I'm going to put them into D tier at the moment. Same with Satyricon, a uh, classic band. Some of the early stuff is amazing, Dark Medieval Times, holy crap. But it's I'm not going to listen to them over any of these. Like These are the sounds, like the more atmospheric stuff, um, the faster stuff, the more symphonic stuff. Satyricon is just there, it's just kind of pretty good black metal, never been my favourite. Yeah, Shining is next. I like Shining quite a bit, the more depressive suicidal black metal. Uh, it's going into B tier. Cool vocals, very cool vocals on that. Tark is next, and ooh, where shall I put Tark? I'm going to put Tark alongside Abbott and 1349. I do enjoy everything I've heard. I do enjoy all his albums. Uh, he's a great figure. The use of banjo in the album, come on. Absolutely fantastic. Great live as well. So, yeah, I'm going to put them on par with C. Ruins of Beverast. More interesting, more kind of a doomy, black and doom kind of band. Great albums, great sound. A band that I want to rank. So, yeah, let me know if you'd want to see that, because I love the style and sound of Ruins. Fawns is next, more industrial stuff. Um, I do like them, but I wouldn't listen to them over any of this stuff. I, let's be real, I wouldn't listen to them over... Any of the more atmospheric or classic black metal stuff. Ulva is good, but they've only got like three albums that I really want to listen to. So I'm going to put them in C. Because the albums that I want to listen to are, are mind-blowing. Holy moly, the first three albums just blow my mind. Then after that, they don't, they're don't not really black metal. So I don't even know if they should be on this list, but I'm going to put them into C. Next up. I've seen that logo, but I can't for the life of me remember that band. So they're going into who? Venom. Venom, Venom, Venom. They're going to go alongside Celtic Frost. Because, again, it's the style of uh, black metal, first wave, which I'm not as a big fan of. I'm more into this kind of atmospheric stuff. So, yeah, I love them. They're great, just like Celtic Frost. Just all these bands are great, yeah. But it's the style I'm not going to pick over any of these. Wittane is next. C tier. Wittane um, gets a bad rep, but I think their albums are fun and fine. It's like cookie cutter black metal. It's good. You know what you're getting, and it serves a purpose, and it's fun. So, yeah. Wittane, C tier. Windeer. Let's, you know, we, we need some positivity. Windeer is jumping up to S tier. Holy moly. All four or five, I think it's four albums, are just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Um, Icy Cold atmosphere, kind of dancey beats at times, it's it's a great band, one of my favourites, S tier. Next up, Winter Filiff, really good atmospheric UK black metal, um, I'm going to put them into B tier for now, don't quite like them as much as all these, but every album's a 10 out of 10, I've seen them live and they kick ass live, amazing live band, so B tier is pretty good, and finally, we have Zasfa, Zasfa. Now, do I put them hmm, higher than... Yeah, I do. I'm going to put Zasfa into A tier. I love the first, say, eight albums by Zasfa. Amazing albums. Telepathic with the Deceased. So good. Nocturnal Poisoning. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. The reason the Leviathan's a little bit higher is just because more consistency. Um, Zasfer's later albums, the more kind of folky or, or more personal albums, not big into. But everything else, amazing. So, that is the tier list. Then S Plus, Druk and Inquisition, and then D tier. These bands which I still really enjoy, so there we have it. That is the black metal tier list. You don't have to agree. But I want your guys' opinions down below. What would you put into S Plus or S? How would you arrange it? Are you annoyed with the list? Let me know down below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.